Joining us right now is Dr. Kavita Patel, fellow at the Brookings Institution and former White House Health Policy Director. And Dr. Patel, this, this idea of the third vaccination is, is kicking up um, a lot of interest and, and, and some pushback, too. Dr. Anthony Fauci saying nobody needs a third booster shot just yet. But, but what do you think? What do we know at this point? Yeah, Becky, good morning. I think what we know is that certainly immunity, even from six months ago, decreases over time. The question is over how much time Pfizer is maintaining that they can start to see those decreases both through internal data sources, which we haven't seen, obviously, and external data from Israel that support that anywhere from starting at six to nine months after the two-dose regimen, that there's a decrease in the titers of antibodies produced by the body. Now, the other question that remains is what I imagine will be discussed with officials today or soon is how much you really do need. You can have decreasing immunity over time, Becky, but it can still be incredibly sufficient. And thus far, the data that has been transparent supports all three of our current authorized vaccines in the United States provide more than enough immunity against severe hospitalization and death. I guess the question becomes, and this is a question I think a lot of parents are facing right now, too, um, that, that's great that it's going to protect me from severe hospitalization or death, but my kids aren't vaccinated yet. And if the effectiveness goes, let's say, from 95 percent down to 65 percent, what are the odds that by me being out at work or going about my daily life that I could bring it home and infect my kids? I, I think that's probably the crucial question on this. I'm not worried about myself yeah. at this point. Yeah, that is the crucial question. And I think even more important uh, on top of, of that is, so at what point then do parents need to get boosters? And it, it's really answering what you're pointing to, that important question of what we would call asymptomatic transmission. So even if you do not get sick or have any awareness of being ill, you could unintentionally, obviously, pass it on to unvaccinated individuals. So far, the data is sparse, Becky. It's not really systematic in its nature. And we, we have data that show, points to early signs that you do not have a high threat of asymptomatic transmission. That being said, that's exactly what I think will happen with between federal officials, but also it's a global discussion, right? This is clearly not just implications for the United States, but with the threat of the Delta variant and potentially other looming variants in the future, it seems like it's an inevitability that we're going to need a booster shot, but that trillion dollar question is when. Seems like six months might be too soon. I was vaccinated in December, so I'm already kind of past that six month due date. But many healthcare workers have already shown six to eight months later high levels of immunity, very low levels of uh, viral load if they indeed do become infected, pointing to a very low likelihood of that transmission that you were describing. Mm -hmm. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.